Hey there wrestling fans, it's your good friend here once again, it's Team Barbara and back with another wrestling video. Now in this video, I want to discuss this match took place on June 11th, 2006 at the ECW One Night Stand pay-per-view, okay? Now, John Cena, Super Cena, his nickname also, from all the wrestling fans out there, he's the current WWE Champion, okay? He's been dominating every damn superstar gets in his way, okay? Now, on the other hand, the challenger, RVD. Been a while since I've done that kind of thing. At WrestleMania 22, the year it was 2006, okay? This is before this pay per view took place. He had an awesome money in the bank and he won it, okay? The crowd was so loud at the LC Arena. I had a chance to get tickets. I might make a video on that. Why I did not attend the event. Let me know if you want to hear my story down below. If not, then I'm not going to make the video. But I was very glad he won it. I was at Hooters at the time. Yes, Hooters. Um, I didn't order it. I just watched it there back in the day. But I was marking out. I was very glad. I love RVD. And he never won the major belt but I would discuss in a few minutes and that was a very very awesome money in the bank in Chicago Illinois I know Gemini was there he made a video on that before he discussed that matter he was part of history lucky guy um, so instead of RVD like most um, he always do I don't think our video was really a completely heel, but most heels do, they cash it in on the, their opponent when they're weak. Now, he didn't do that. He announced he's going to cash it in on uh, John Cena at the ECW One Night Stand pay-per-view. Now, that match was very good. They say if John Cena retained the people were right. Of course that's not going to happen. Because the security would just kick the fans right out of the damn building, you know? And that would be bad for business. So. Out of nowhere, Edge came out and speared um, John Cena. Of course he had a bicycle helmet on. And I had no idea who the hell that was until he took the mask. Sorry, the, the helmet off. And people was marking out, even Joey Styles was marking out and not really marking out. They said like, holy shit, or I forgot what he said because I just watched it a few minutes ago. So bear with me. It was Joey Styles and Taz doing a commentating, you know, because they were ECW guys. And, um... I'm kind of glad that Edge got involved. I guess there's no disqualification. So he speared uh, John Cena for, uh, through the freaking tail. I was so freaking glad he did it because John Cena and Edge were bickering back and forth. They had a great rivalry um, in 2006, you know, the Rumble. Actually, New Year's Revolution and the Rumble and um, Unforgiven and the rest of history. I think John Cena and Edge, those two guys have great rivalries. I think that's the best rivalry they ever had in my eyes, okay? You might have a different opinion of, of um, John Cena's best rivalry in WWE history. But regardless, if... If Edge never interfered in that damn match, I guarantee that um, John Cena will retain his damn belt. 
and that would be good for business. That'd be bad for business. People will be freaking pissed if John Cena retained that belt. So RVD capitalized. He did a frog splash. His finish, his famous finishing move, and out of nowhere, Paul Heyman um, count for three because the original referee got knocked out during the match. And I was very happy that RVD won, and then they renamed the belt the ECW Championship, and eventually they bring back, I think the classic ECW belt. I don't remember. I don't really follow ECW back in the day, but if I'm correct, they did bring it back. Then what the next night raw? R V D had the E spinning belt plus the ECW belt. So he had two belts. One time he he defended it, then the other time he defended the ECW belt. That's kinda neat, you know? First time in the history that two belts on the same guy defended it. That's kinda neat. I think he did. Correct me am I wrong. Then one time then um, Edge were part of the, the few. It was John Cena, Edge, and RVD. And of course, I think Edge picked the victory and he won both belts. It was just one belt. I freak, I don't remember. But that was the only time that RVD won the major belt. He won the IC belt back in the day a few times. He won the hardcore belt. Um, then he won the tag team belts a few times. So I really thought McMahon would never ever push RVD because he's from ECW back in the day and I thought he just gonna stick, stay in the mid card and I'm so glad at the time he was uh, the World Heavy Champion. And I think a few days later he got busted, him and Sabu. Then they had to drop the belt to um, the Big Show, I think. I, I think I'm right or am I wrong? I'm not really too sure. And he, he screwed up his title reign. And that is not good. That's bad, you know? I think it happened before pay-per-view or after. I think it was before. That really sucks. I don't understand these freaking wrestlers. You know, they want to be the main guy. Then a couple of days later, or a few months later, they get busted by drugs. Or some stupid shit, you know? I just don't understand, you know? I'm not bashing the wrestling fans. You know? That's not good. And I guarantee that when McMahon found out RVD and Sabu got busted with drugs, he was very, very upset. I think RVD got suspended or fired. So let me know down below. So this is my thoughts on this match and I went a little overboard. Um, I think RVD is the man. Not lately because he don't have a full-time contract with them. He just comes and goes. But I guarantee wrestling fans are V D will be a future Hall of Famer. In my eyes, they should have a separate Hall of Fame, the ECW one. That'd be great to put him in there, Tommy Dreamer, Sam in. But is that gonna happen? Maybe, maybe not, probably not. But I'm getting off subject here. But let's just discuss this. This match was freaking good. Um the build up was Okay, but the cash in could be way better if RVD was a uh, completely heal. You know, like Edge does when the opponent is weak. But that's all I'm gonna say. You guys can follow me on Twitter. It's Team I Right 32. You could hit the sub button. I really appreciate, please, my wrestling gurus, and we could discuss all the wrestling stuff out there. Okay. Now I have. Um, Dustin Reynolds, Dusty Rose, 
vi um, video that made like uh, what's my thoughts on his passing and I uploaded if you love Michael Jordan the Bulls his anniversary was today or actually on Friday so check it out because this video will be on Saturday you could check out my money bank um, predictions and all good stuff so this is your friend here once again team all right it's gonna sign off and everyone have a great night the champs out here